Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. Upper left-hand corner, we have Rancor starting as the green Zerg. Bottom right-hand corner, we have Masuchi starting as the yellow Zerg. This is going to be game two of set six. Rancor taking game one. And Masuchi just following, because he was in the dark, following, following economically behind. And that is actually, I want to say, maybe a slight advantage in Rancor's play with the nine-pool opener. Because it seems like he does have... And I'm wondering if that's something he figured out throughout the game, and that's going to carry him into victory here, potentially. I don't know that I've seen Masuchi have adjustments on a particular build order based on Overlord scouting, like seeing each other's Overlords, where I have seen Rancor make adjustments uh, as far as what he's doing based on Overlords spotting each other. So what this might come down to is Masuchi having better execution initially coming into this match, and just uh, maybe having the better build order out of the 12th pool play, but then, but which would play, I'm trying to think of the way to put this, Masuchi might be better on a 2v2 map, or a 1v1 map, I should say, like Eclipse or something along those lines. But it's possible that what we're gonna see is because of Rancor's ability to adjust off not seeing Overlords along these lines, it looks like he is saving up resources. Is he gonna go for an overpool this time? So here's the thing. He, see, he scouts no Overlord this direction. Does he now go for that 12th hatchery? It looks like yes. He's going to go for the 12th hatchery. Same thing in the opposite corner. So Masuchi going for the 12th hatch. The first we've seen here. In base 12th hatch for Rancor. Grabbing gas behind. Gas before spawning pool even behind it. So he's going to go for very likely a Zergling Flood. Masuchi has a lot of territory to cover and defend. He's going to grab his gas behind this. But both players, at least on the surface, going for more of an economic-based opening. Finally, the spawning pool grabbed. I expect Zergling speed and a massive amount of Zerglings as far as a follow-up. And we will know for certain if, upon 100 gas, these drones back out. Also wondering with the spawning of this, if with this hatch replacement, you can kind of see it drift out. That slows things down just slightly. Spawning pool is going to finish a little bit earlier for Masuchi. He is going to have equivalent larva, but that zergling speed can be a big difference. And also, at these cross-spawn locations, it's going to be a while before Masuchi has any idea what's going on on the opposite side of the map. And I feel like he's going for the more standard build order. Upgrading to layer now. Rancor getting 200, so it looks like he is going to go for Spire. So there's Zergling Speed. There's Lair behind it. And continuing to mine. So the way this plays out now is it's effectively basically a dead even build order. But Rancor has less territory to defend. And his... Lair timing, I think in the midst of all of that, his Lair timing is a little bit later but not by a margin that I'm going to say is going to affect the game. What could be the difference here is, is that Masuchi has to spend Larva to drop creep colonies and defend this natural expansion where Rancor really doesn't to defend both. Zergling's being built. Now, how did... This is one of those puzzle things that I have. Did Rancor just... I think Rancor might have just botched something. I think he supply blocked himself there. Which is devastating. Yeah, because he dropped... So he's behind two drones. I'm like, what's the difference here? He dropped two drones. Masuchi is surging in the drone count. Overlord's finally able to scout. It's going to see this natural expansion. So he's going to know the situation from there. Spire is being built, but it's ever so slightly behind. But a lot of Zerglings have been created behind this. A handful, looks like eight Zerglings are making their way across. But there is this something colony behind this. Rancor is he going to be able to intercept these Zerglings in the next question. Splitting off and able to take a couple of them out. Is running across. A lot of them are getting split. Masuchi, rather than going for the counterattack, is looking to engage wholesale. Some of these Zerglings getting pinned back. And these Zerglings, that's going to force I was going to think a second Sun Colony, but I guess the Evolution Chamber is going in to try to blockade. Masuchi still very much in the dark. The Zerglings flooding across. 
into the natural expansion. A lot of them getting distracted on the evolution chamber. That might cost Rancor here. The drone's coming off the line to try to defend. Rancor does need to get damage done here because he is down in the overall drone count. Sunken Colony still holding. And yeah, these Zerglings, I do not believe, were microed sufficiently enough. Now, Rancor down a drone and not able to breach that natural expansion. That did disrupt some mining time for Misuchi. Looks like he got distracted and also was forced to build a lot of Zerglings as his Spire completed. So that might have delayed Mutalisks. Felt like putting a D in there. Muda. Mutalisks slightly. Rancor building Mutalisks on his end. He's down a drone. Down an expansion. Does have eight Zerglings hanging out there. The Evolution Chamber is up. So Masuchi could get some ground defenses. Potentially. This Overlord's going to get picked off. This Overlord going to get picked off as well. Rancor currently, briefly, down a drone, but does have the overall supply count lead. I think that is primarily in Zerglings, however. And Masuchi very much on the defense. You can see the Zerglings just kind of cowering around that evolution chamber. A couple Scourge have been produced. Five mules in the air. Five mules in the air. Sorry, six mules in the air otherwise, rather than an additional Scourge. And I'm not sure either player knows where they're standing. As far as how the match is going. Supply counts just about even once again. Rank, we're still down a drone. And Masuchi is starting to surge, building, looking to get a fight, picking off some Zerglings here in the natural expansion. Backing out, Extractor's being grabbed from Masuchi, and that will carry him to victory if he can grab that and secure it. The Zergling's backing out from Rancor's base, or sorry, from Masuchi's base. Rancor cycling around to the north. Mutalisk's flooding out, just kind of checking whatever they possibly can, making sure additional sneaky expansions haven't been grabbed. But while all that's happening, armor upgrading, no armor upgrade for Rancor, and Masuchi has grabbed his second gas. And this is going to be the critical bit right here. Because that second gas means more Mutalisks, potentially. And more Mutalisks in ZVZ means you win majority of the time. The Zerglings cycling back out. Rancor looking to grab his expansion. Feels like it might be a little bit too little too late. Now engaging the Scourge chasing the Mutalisk flock back. The other critical bit here is, is not only are there going to be more Mutalisks up in the air, they're also going to have that level 1 armor, which is going to give a big advantage to Misuchi. He can just wander up and check and test. So everything going in his favor currently. And playing, honestly, admirably, considering how little information he had for such a huge period of this game. Single Zergling pocketing out at the 3 o'clock location to potentially scout Scourge. Sorry, scout Mutalisks. The gas bank is climbing for Mizuchi. As is the Mutalisk count. And I think with that Mutalisk spawning right there, potentially, that might have been the Mutalisk that put Masuchi over the, over the hill? I'm not sure. Tip the scales. Second grab, second gas being grabbed there by Rancor. Oof, I can feel I'm getting tired in this one. Natural expansion, hatchery being grabbed. Scourge picked off to the north. But Masuchi shelling up well. I think he feels like he's in the lead, and he is. Now with level 1 armor online, moving forward to get aggressive. This Overlord is exposed, which potentially could force a fight. Pre-mining gas to get gas as quickly as possible. And Rancor now has to weather the storm, and I don't know that he has the tools to do it. Overlord down. That's going to supply cap him as he's trying to engage. Scourger moving up. It looks like they might land a little bit earlier here. But Masuchi with that level 1 armor advantage and more Mutalisks able to cap it out. Game 2 goes to Masuchi. 
Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.